Hey guys, Game Dog here, and welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies. Last time we got the split pea, and we're going to need to use them in order to take these things out. There we go. This is the digger zombie. This is also a pretty dangerous one. Now, this is a point in the game, too, in which you start to realize that your selection, mostly, or what, what you pick to bring into a level, mostly relies on the kinds of zombies you're actually fighting. Uh, like, for example... There are no balloon zombies here, so there's no way I'm going to bring cact uh, cac cactuses or blovers, because there's just no point to it. These things, though, almost require you to bring split peas. These are very... This is probably the best way to take these, these things out. <laughs> I kind of like this zombie, too. Like, it's designed, especially when it like comes out of the ground, but you guys will see what that means. All right, let's, um... Scaredy shrooms. I think these are going to be borderline useless against these things, but I'll bring them anyway. Um, and then... Alapeno for good measure. I should bring something to take care of the fog, too. I think, um... Do I still want to bring the Brover? Do I care about the fog that much? You know, I'm going to do it just so it's easier to see what's coming. Because I keep talking about how easy it is for certain zombies to sneak up behind you. The digger zombie is a zombie that literally sneaks up behind you. <laughs> Find out what that means in a second. Because they are very dangerous and you don't want you don't want to take precautions for them. Um not on the top row. Okay, good. Oh, there he is. You know, I'm going to try something different for this level. I'm going to instead put my, um... But my sunflowers, I'm, I'm going to have eight of them. Because I feel like I'm going to be using a lot of sun in this level. And this will allow me to put more stuff in the water. By the way, if you do bother to grind for the cattails, they could be very good substitutes of stuff to put here. Alright, there we go. Now, there's a reason why I'm doing this. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna dig it up. Yeah, I'll put that there. Ooh! Uh, puzzle mode unlocked. Oh, great. That might be what we do next episode. Because the puzzles are super fun. I think I'm going to start putting this down. Okay, so the split pea. Um, you might notice by the very fine details on it that it has a normal pea shooter in the front. And a, um... Oh no, there's one right there. Okay. So here's the digger zombie. Um, he will... You'll always start by digging to the far end of your um, of your stage. However, he won't go to the left. Instead, he will go to the right and eat every single plant you have. And honestly, these things are probably the only real good way to get rid of them. Actually, this would be a really good place to put your um your scary shrooms. Because um, they're gonna hide under the underneath anyway, and they're not nearly as it's not as detrimental if you lose a, if you lose a scaredy shroom versus if you lose a um like a fully grown one of these. I'm gonna fully grown. They're starting to grow out now, which I'm really happy about. I want at least one of these on all rows. There we go. Okay, let's put a final wave. I think I'll wait to put this out because I don't know what if. Okay, that's good. That's fine. Um, any more? No. Oh, it's just stuff there now. Okay. 
Oh, apparently these uh these cower if they're um if there's even like something on that uh in like a three by three radius or something. You know, I'm gonna do this. There we go. These can be useful too for like last ditch effort kind of plants. Like if you absolutely need to put something down or else you're going to lose. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get this thing in time, but I'll I'll try my best. Oh no. Oh, here's one I like a lot too. A star fruit shoots stars in five directions. Now this is a really cool one. Um no new zombies. However, the star fruit might be a good substitute for um for the split pea, though I'm gonna take them along anyway. Hmm. You know, I might not need um scared shrooms when I have these things, but I'm gonna bring foom shrooms though. And I want something inexpensive. Squash. There we go. Now the star fruit is one of those plants that a lot of people like. Oh, I forgot to bring um, lily pads again. However, I'm not going to lie, I might not need them for this level because of the star fruit. The starfruit does its own little thing, which is very unique. put this right here. I'm going to go for two rows again because I feel like I'm going to need a lot of these. Also, I really hope I put that in the light in the right lane. <laughs> I'll just put one at the top and bottom. Okay, now I'm going to try and get my first star fruit out. One more. There we go. Okay. The house starfruit works is, um, well, first thing needs to get in its range. Hopefully that'll happen at some point. It probably will if this guy gets too far, which I think will happen, actually. So look at this. The starfruit is shooting a single shot, um, in two forward-ish directions, but not straight in front of him, which is very interesting. Um, to the very top and bottom of him and behind him. I believe those shots are very weak, but the thing is, if you have a lot on the field, they can cover a lot of ground. Like, a few well-placed versions of these can essentially hit the entire screen. I like the starfruit, co the starfruit quite a bit. In fact, due to the fact that they fire up and down, it might make it so I don't- I might not need, um lily pads because they'll be able to fire into the water and hit what's ever down here heck dare i say it i'm gonna see if i can beat this whole level just using these things into uh, in my like typical shrooms you know i looked in the achievements apparently there's an achievement for um beating a level without um or beating a night level without using any mushrooms i'm kind of wondering how you're meant to do that it doesn't seem too difficult, but it does seem like it would take a lot of planning. Alright, we're starting to get a lot of sun here. Um, a digger zombie might be coming. Just because a new round just started. Doesn't really look like it though. I guess I'll just continue to put these down whenever, wherever. 
I'm getting more sun than I know what to do with, so I think I'm gonna put down um, one of these. Okay, where don't I have shrooms yet? The bottom is completely decked out. Let's start working on um, the top in this little section down here as well. Yeah, look at this. Like, they're firing into the water. Like, this is a really cool plant. Oh, whoops. Um, looked off screen for a second. I hear a jack in the box. He's up there. I can tell by how he's moving. Final wave time. Oh, there's one. Let's watch how fast it um, gets taken out. Is this thing faster than a normal zombie? It kind of looks that way. That's pretty effective. I think one more would have uh, made it so we couldn't eat that plant. But yeah, there's the starfruit in a nutshell. I like this plant a lot. Oh, here's another one of my personal favorites. The pumpkin protects plants that are within its shell. This is a very different plant. Oh no, another one. Um, Pogo zombie. This is a pretty dangerous one too. So, um, let's see. Those, those, those. With these, we basically don't have to worry about lily pads. I might just use these from now on, honestly. Like, I like them that much. Maybe those spike weeds, blovers, um... Actually, I don't see diggers. So maybe I don't need the starfruit. Hmm. I do see some aquatic zombies, though. I'll bring the cherry bomb. I hope I'm not missing something. Doesn't really look like it. Alright, let's do this. Of course, I'm bringing the spike weed, because that's what I do best. You know, is it just me, or is the fog getting closer to the right with every one of these? Or closer to the left of every one of these stages? It kind of feels that way. I'm going to start putting these way in the back, too, because Starfruit can take care of them. It's like I'm putting, um, it's like I'm, it's not like I'm putting Sunshrooms there, so. Alright, so the first one is down there. Let's put our first star fruit out. Uh, right there. It might be able to hit that guy. No, it may probably not. It's too bad. Oh, 
Okay, good. I see a cone head down there. I think once I get... Oh, there's the pogo zombie. Um, okay, that's a dangerous one. As you can see, he's not even bothering... Well, okay. <laughs> the pogo zombie doesn't bother with eating your plants. He just jumps right over them. Of course, because of the fog, I didn't see him coming. Oh, yeah. They're not too bad, but they are a little annoying. You just need to make sure you can do enough damage to them uh, before they get too far. Now, unlike with the balloon zombies, you don't need to worry about um. I'm do this. I've had enough of this fog. Yeah, unlike the balloon zombies, you don't need to worry about um. Like taking away their pogo stick and then they become like a normal zombie. No, they they just die if you defeat them. I think I'll start to put these out too. Or better yet, I'll explain what this does. The pumpkin. So you place it on top of a plant. It's a little bit like a walnut. In fact, I think it has the same amount of health. However, it pretty much makes it so um this now this plant has about a little bit more health than a walnut. Because now uh, if a zombie were to get to it, they'd now need to take care of the um of the pumpkin before they can get to it, which is kind of cool. One just died right there. You might have saw it, but let's see anything else crazy. I might use a cherry bomb here, but I don't really think I'm going to need to. Okay, this is the last guy. Put this right here. There we go. Ah, okay, here we go. Now this is a man. You get a lot of really good plants in this world. This is the magnet shroom. Removes helmets and other metal objects from zombies. And this is another one of people's favorite plants. It is really, really good. Let's start to bring um like all of these. Yeah, look at our roster too. Like um, our, our group of plants is starting to get really, really big. Like, uh, what, we, what we can potentially take in. Let's see, I see balloons, so let's take blovers. I'm going to take magnet shrooms to show them off. Um, let's see. Starfruit. Anything else? Squashes. Um. Maybe hypnos? Nah, no, nah, we're not going to need hypnos. I don't see diggers either, so we might not even need the star fruit, but I'm going to take them anyway. I'll bring the ice shroom because we haven't used it in a while. I hope I'm not missing something. I'm just scanning over. It does not look like I am, so let's go in. Oh, okay, top row. Also, I forgot my own mentality. I can have to put that in the back at some point. Uh, let's put that right there. You can take care of him. Should I put this out for good measure? I don't really feel like I need to right now. Uh, down there. Mm -hmm. 
Let's see a cone head down there. I think I'm gonna take one of these away and put a magnet shroom down. But how the magnet shroom works is, well, it is a really, really cool plant. Now you might, um, well, we have been seeing uh, zombies up to this point that carry metal objects with them, uh, whether they be buckets or those uh, those pogo sticks. What the plant, uh, what the magnet shroom does is it yanks those uh, those objects away from zombies. So pretty much, you just take the helmet right off, you just take the bucket right off of a zombie. So then they lose all of that health, and then basically they're just a, just a typical zombie at that point. That's what makes this, uh, this plant so cool. I probably should have put out, I should have put it like right here. But I think they do have a, have a, have a definite range. That they, they can only reach so far, but they're still really, really good. Let's start to put all these out now. Alright, there we go. Might get a chance to see it now. Uh, let me get one more sun so I can blow us away so we can actually see it in action. Oh, here we go. Okay, so here comes a magnet, uh, or here comes a bucket head. Watch what the magnet shroom is going to do to it. He just takes it right off. It does now. It is going to take a little bit of time for it to recharge, but once it's uh, ready, it'll be able to yank off another zombie's object. This is really, really useful because it can take away like the pogo zombies, uh, like pogo sticks. Um, it can take away the helmets of um, of um, of football zombies. Even though I, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know that much about football, but aren't those helmets made out of plastic? <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of this so they don't kill my star fruit. There we go. Also, I should really put more of these out. So yeah, overall they're just really, really useful. I like this thing quite a bit. A whole row of these can pretty much make it so no zombie with too much health or too much versatility will get pet. Like it pretty much just converts really powerful zombies into normal zombies. That's cool. I approve of this plant. And it's actually quite... Like, it's borderline vital for some very late game um, enemies as well. Just because uh, they do get metal objects that are just that powerful. Uh, there's... Oh, that's, uh, that's in one of these. Yeah, I should have put him a little bit farther down, because now this thing is going to get through. You know what? I'm going to do this. Oh, I didn't need to. That's a waste. Okay, I'm not going to bother replanting that. I'll put a star fruit there instead. It can still hit, like, way over here, so I'm not too worried about it. I really feel like I should put another one of these down. Yeah, there we go. And that'll help. Oh, okay, I might need to do that. I will do this, though. And now, what do we got to deal with here? I see a pogo zombie, I see a couple other things.
I think we might be good, actually. I use a squash here, but other than that, we're pretty good. Yep, that's the level. Alright, boss time. Hello, this is your moother. Please come over to my house for meatloaf. Leave your front door open and your lawn unguarded. Sincerely, Mom, not the zombies. <laughs> These zombies are getting desperate. Like, po okay, let's, um... Oh, this is a cool level. Why'd it get so dark all of a sudden? This can't be good. Oh, well, I hope you survive the night. Now, this is actually pretty ominous. I love the darkness here. Now, instead of having fog, instead, the entire screen is just black. And, um... Well, occasionally, lightning will strike, which will light up the screen. So that's how you're going to be able to see in this level. You have no control over it, but you don't really need that much control over it. Because it, 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 it doesn't... It doesn't, um... It doesn't do it that rarely. Also, where should I put this magnet stream? I guess I'll wait until I see a zombie that could... That could benefit from, like, taking the equipment of. I'm gonna put those right there. Uh, split peas, we're definitely gonna need those at some point. Okay, good. But kind of like with the magic stream, I think I'm gonna wait until I see something that's actually really dangerous. Also, another thing I like about the pumpkin, you can just put it out sometimes on its own. Or, I mean, all the time. It pretty much acts like a, like a walnut from there, which is really neat. I guess the reason why it's over double the price is because you can just put it out whenever. Which does give it a really nice uh, nice use. Let's see, I'm going to put more of these down. Uh, okay, we got a full column of star fruit. That's good. I'm not sure if I put that, out, that in the right spot. Okay, you're getting close. I'm going to put a pumpkin there. Is no music too is really ominous. Oh, okay. I see a um. Where is my pumpkin? Down there. Okay, I'm gonna take that thing's um. I'm gonna take his helmet away. Oh, there we go. doing very good so far. I find this one actually easier than the, um, than the other night levels. I don't have any use for the split peas yet. Though, so, you know, they're shooters. I might as well just put them out right now. I'll put another one here, too, to take care of the top row. Uh, we'll put them, uh, here. Need some light. Don't want to plant this in the wrong spot. There and right there. I'll start to put these in the center as well. Uh, you can go in the back somewhere. It doesn't really matter where. What was that? I heard like a snake or something. That was weird. Oh, okay. Alright, Jack in the Box. Uh, right up there. Oh! The, the Jack in the Box itself also counts as a... Um, as a, as a metal object, so these, uh, the magnet streams can take those away as well. That's pretty cool. Oh, uh, here comes some... Oh, wait, no, I guess we don't need, uh, the blover, because we have, a uh, full cactuses on the back. What the... Oh, right. Right, right, there are digger zombies in this level, I forgot about that. I was wondering why... Oh, there's another one. Ooh, diamond. I was wondering why coins just randomly appeared back there. <laughs> Put this here, just because, um... I feel like it would be good. Let's see. Take all those away. I'm gonna put more pumpkins out. You know, I'm gonna put these on the back. I feel it'll be useful. I put, yeah, just throw those out. Uh, replace this. Pick that up.
I almost put a split pea on the lily pad. There is actually no use to doing that. Because I haven't found a use, or I can't remember one. Oh, there might be one weird zombie. Maybe the, um... Like, maybe putting one in front of, like, a dolphin zombie might be nice, but I'd much rather put other stuff in front of other plants. I'll put them here anyway. Let's, um... Place this someplace random. Uh... Okay. Hey, pumpkins are great. We can technically put out all of those. <laughs> or star fruit. That's good. One more. We, we'll, I think we'll have a full suite of these things. Put this out because it is the final wave. You never know what might be out there. There we go. Ah, nice. Okay. Now this is when the this is when uh, we start to get some really really fun um, plants. This is the cabbage pulse. Holds cabbage at enemies. Um, that'll be it for now though. I think next time I think next time we'll do a few puzzles. I'm not sure if we'll do all of them, but yeah, that'll be it for this episode. So I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching.